Hello guys, it's your Dr. MPX, and we're back with another episode of Lava Craft. Now, I thought after uh, last episode, I'd do some mining off camera, uh, which turned into a massive ordeal, which will lead to many heads and a block no one can get in survival Minecraft, except for me. It all started uh, when frogs visited my base and was like, you want another portal? I said, eventually. Then he asked if this spot was good and proceeded to make one. <laughs> but this isn't any normal portal. It goes to the roof. Oh, and now the nether roof is now being classified as a safe zone. So we are safe to traverse the top of the nether. After that happened, Lava wanted to show me something with frogs. Hey, follow me. Carefully, we followed him to the wilds before he tried to kill me. This isn't like one of those things where it's like, ah, psych, you're dead. No, I <laughs> oh, yeah. Wet horse. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Run, run, run. <laughs> Luckily, we made it back in one piece, back to our safe zone. Uh, I decided anyway to trade him my head uh, for his salmon head, which inadvertently made me join a fish cult with frogs after giving my head to lava. Uh, I then wanted my head as well. So lava killed frogs, frogs killed me and I killed frogs, which led to this being built in my base. After which I went into the actual nether to get some blaze rods to make an ender chest which led to me dying several times and managing to get two blaze rods and after all that I received the rarest block in Minecraft if you didn't know from the bloopers last episode I went to the wild with lava and that's because we have another border machine that increases the border by 10 blocks. Anyway, when we got to the machine, I noticed there was a block dropped on the ground. I naturally just went to go pick it up. So I picked up the block. And what was it? It was a bedrock block. Yes, I have a bedrock block. So now that I have it, I have absolutely no idea what to do with it. So do let me know in the comments if there's any good ideas of what I should do with this bedrock block, because I honestly uh, am absolutely clueless when it comes, to, <laughs> it comes to what I should do with this block, even if I just keep it hidden away somewhere, which I have done at the moment. It's neither in a chest or an ender chest, it's, it's, it's hidden away somewhere <laughs> in the world that only I know about. Now that we're back onto that, we've done some changes. So, changes we've done in our base. So, obviously from before, this is our, our new fish cult statue with frogs, who has uh, graciously given us three of his heads. <laughs> uh, portal to our new nether roof. Um, so we can easily get back to spawn now. I've also added some uh, blast furnaces because uh, I was doing some some mining before. Uh, <laughs> what I managed to do my one of my blaze rods to make this ender chest. Thank God for that. Uh, and I did a lot of mining. <laughs> just 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 a little just a little bit of mining. <laughs> But yeah, so now we have a lot of resources. Uh, we can definitely start this episode. I want to complete at least this main room. So we're going to be doing that this episode. Also, while I was adventuring around, we have a friend. Everyone, this is Bamboozle, <laughs> the panda. <laughs> Managed to find a jungle biome in our, in our borders while I was... Uh, traveling around and I happened upon this guy so I've after much work I managed to get him up this mountain <laughs> uh, 
and into this tiny pen and I've given him bamboozle so he's now bamboozle the panda our first pet I definitely want to make him a jungle room because he deserves it all, all of my pets so deserve a room uh, and we also have a little bit of a cocoa farm going on here so we've got a few things that have been happening right now. This as well uh, is the entrance to our, um, ooh, hello, is the entrance to our strip mine. So I, I won't bother trying to go down there. But we have also hit a zombie spawner. So we can make um, our own XP farm, which will be great. And we can possibly use it to hopefully I'm hoping spawn in some uh, zombie villages and see if we can queue and convert them as well but that's wishful thinking and we will do the XP farm in another episode uh, but for now we need to get this base up and running so first let's get rid of you <laughs> I'm not even sure how you managed to get it through there, considering you're on the nether roof. Uh, but, ooh, we've got Nightmare online right now. Uh, Rogue was just on a minute ago. But, get ready for the montage. Here we go.
Alright guys, and that's it. We have made the main room now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and let me know what else you would like to see as we progress further into the mountain. Maybe some special rooms, maybe a little jungle, jungle room for bamboozle. I definitely would like to make a better main entrance than the water uh, fountain we've got going down down below. Uh, but, but that's all from me and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!